Now it's time for our viewer poll review. In December, we asked, do you think the Matagorda ship channel should be dredged? 422 of you said yes, and 31 of you said no. Another viewer poll from December, should the U.S. extend Title 42? 78 of you said yes, and 124 of you said no. Thank you for taking part in our viewer poll. Come to CrossroadsToday.com slash vote to keep taking part. And now we hear from Connie and Rhonda. They're with the city of Cuero here to talk to us about a new wellness program coming to the turkey capital of the world. <laughs> Welcome to Community Crossroads. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Well, I'm so happy to learn about this new program. Now, the city is potentially one of the largest employers in the area. We are. So this program will be quite effective because it's done through the city's health care provider, Blue Cross Blue Shield. That's correct. So where did this idea come from? Uh, credit for this idea comes from the parks uh, director, David Danish, who had gotten several um, parents that take their kids to the children's park um, about having outdoor fitness equipment. And it's always been in the back of his mind and the back of council's mind to implement this. So when we were approached by Blue Cross Blue Shield that they had partnered with the National Fitness Program, um, that there was a grant for a fitness court, a 38 by 38 uh, multi-faceted workout equipment that is free for all and the location that we are going to have for it is near the children's park so that parents can take their kids to the children's park and work out at the same time. And how is this possible? Uh, was there a grant that was written? Uh, yes, ma'am, there is. Uh, there was a $50,000 grant that the city did match and put some funds in. Um, we had Jack Lineman with the National Fitness Campaign. Uh, that was kind of our uh, mentor and assisted me to a degree with uh, putting those particulars together and just had to kind of write a successful grant and uh, we were fortunate to get funded. Wow, it certainly sounds really exciting. Please keep us up to date every step of the way and we'll let our, our viewers know as soon as it's, it's ready to be used. We'll have a big grand opening. The National Fitness Campaign will be out there. Um, we'll have you out there and we'll have a big news blast about it. It's uh, very uh, user friendly. Um, all you have to do is sign up to their smart app, use the QR code, the QR code on the fitness equipment will tell you how to use it. And uh, hopefully it'll be a success for the city of Quero. Well, great. Thank you so much, Connie. And thank you, Rhonda, for coming on the show and for everything you do for the Crossroads community. Thanks. We'll see you soon. All right. Well, we better get your fitness gear together. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's Community Crossroads to learn more. You can go to crossroadstoday.com and you can also email me if you have a segment idea. Make it a great first or second week of the year.